Hey, it's Patrick from A1 Vacuum and Sewing, and here is my promised video about unique sewing furniture's luminaire slash Solaris cabinet and drawer set. Um, as I've mentioned in our live stream, we've got an incredibly amazing deal on a natural oak set that Pat brought to me. Um, I've covered these cabinets on a number of occasions, so I'm just gonna talk about the top five things that I love about these cabinets and why the cabinet that I got over here should be for you. Um, first and foremost, unique sewing furniture, as always, made out of solid wood. So when you're looking at Horn, Arrow, Koala, these other brands of cabinetry, that is a lot of money to spend on MDF and fake veneers. Um, the unique sewing furniture stuff, always constructed out of solid hardwood. Um, they're, they're natural wood that, that this cabinet is made out of. Actually, this cabinet is too, is solid oak. Um, some benefits of that is they are stronger and lighter. They take their hardware better. And if anything ever does happen to the cabinets, it is possible to repair and refinish the cabinet. And we'll talk about that and how it relates to the cabinet set that I'm gonna have this crazy deal on here in a second. Um, this cabinet is identical to the one about which I'll have on sale, but it's in the sunset gray finish. So their work is beautiful, finish is beautiful. Um, I'm just using this because this is what I have out. Number two thing that I love about the unique sewing furniture cabinets, and these cabinets are designed for the Luminaire or the Solaris. Um, of note though, they will work with any baby lock or brother machine all the way down to about the Journey Ariel 5200. They will all accommodate because these angles are very similar. So with the unique cabinets, the machine sits at sewing height at all time. Now, why is that important? Um, I've probably walked into over the last seven years somewhere around 300 customers' homes. And I would say in 90% of those homes when I've walked in and I've seen their embroidery combinations set up, they've been set up on top of their furniture with the embroidery unit attached. So with this cabinet, it is possible to remove your embroidery unit. I don't have a ton of room here, but you can remove your embroidery unit. There is a filler that fills in this side of the machine and in conjunction with the accessory tray gives you a nice flat area upon which to sew. Um, and it does that at appropriate sewing height. But on every other type of cabinet, the moment you attach that embroidery unit, you are now sitting the machine on top of the cabinet and you're sewing about three and a half to four inches too high. So especially for, for people of smaller stature, significantly easier on the body to be working on the machine when the machine's actually set up at uh, sewing and embroidery height. And for a machine as large as the Solaris or Luminaire, you can go into sewing mode because I know a lot of you ladies don't always detach your um, embroidery unit when you're sewing. You can just go into sewing mode park that unit over there and the machine's already set up at sewing height for you. Um, the, the, the cabinets are, are on casters. And so, you know, I will talk about the next thing I love about these, which is their leaves. So um, we can actually grab this cabinet and pull it forward. And on these cabinets, you've got a nice, 24 inch solid oak leaf and then there are two legs that fold out under there in fact I've got so much stuff back there I can't put that back down for the moment but the um let's see here what do I have back here, here. so um so and given that they're made out of solid wood they make the tops the sides and the leaves out of the same sheets of wood so when you have a matching cabinet set like the one I'm gonna be selling, the backs and tops will all match. So you'll have similar grains um, and similar features there uh, set up on the cabinet. So I love the leaves and how strong they are. 
Um, Alex, who's filming, I don't know if he remembers, but when we were setting up uh, our first display with the unique sewing furnitures, we set up one of their gigantic 72 inch cutting tables. And the guy who was setting it up told Alex and Dax to stand on top of the leaves, which they did, which I think made them probably a little bit more nervous than it made me. But uh, the, that, that solid wood construction makes for very, very solid furniture, especially with the way that the leaf supports are set up. So you've got very, very nice area to support the back of your quilts, to cut, to do whatever else that, that, that you need to do. They make under cabinet storage there as well. Um, number three thing I like about it, uh, in their matching set of drawers, that bottom drawer is a embroidery unit shelf. So your embroidery unit will fit in there. So that's something that I hear from a lot of folks, especially with machines as large as uh, Luminaire or Solaris. It will fit any embroidery unit. Um, like I've got some gals that have Bernina 830s or Bernina uh, 780s. Um, Pat does a lot of custom stuff for us on those fronts, but you can make this cabinet work with the Berninas, but those Bernina embroidery units will fit down here as well, or any Baby Locker Brother embroidery unit smaller than the Solaris or Luminaire, which they are. Um, you've also got uh, custom-made storage shelves for things like your hoops. So this is a 10 and a half by 16 um, uh, uh, snap hoop. Um, you've got two drawers for, for hoop and accessory storage. Then you've got a drawer on top here that is large enough. It's actually the same depth as, or excuse me, the same height as their thread storage tower. So you can take your Isacord or your, your Floriani or your Exquisite or your Wonderfill, and this will hold 250 spools of thread. Um, if you are going to use it for thread storage, I can actually get thread storage dividers or they make custom Notion dividers to put in these cabinets as well. So, so purpose made there. So um, that's three out of five things I like about the cabinets. Um, regarding practical nature and use of it, and this is something that is becoming more and more prevalent, is... Um, we are seeing a lot of people taking advantage of their quilt broidery features with their machines. So when you have a table that's set up like this, where the machine is set with the embroidery unit in the inset, so to speak, that essentially means that you can put your snap frame. Let me move my needle up here. You can put your snap frame underneath here and when you are doing things like quilt broidery even if you're doing much much larger quilts you've got a much larger area to support that quilt so it's supporting the back of the frame it's supporting the quilt taking some of that weight off of the frame and making it easier for it to move so I have a gal up in Susanville that uh, literally takes her luminaire and puts it in the middle of a dining room table so that when she does king size quilt broidery, like she does literally edge to edge and, and fills on king size quilts in the middle of this dining table, it supports that whole quilt. So, you know, she had a unique sewing cabinet. It's obviously not supporting the front of the, the quilt as much, but with that leaf out back, you've got about 36 inches of support for the quilt and for the work that you're doing back there. Um, and then last but not least, uh, what I love about this furniture is the fact that it is um, componentry that is lighter, easily, more easily to moved and more easily configured. As I said, You've got those matching tops, backs, sides, etc. So you can set up the, the uh, cabinet with the drawers on the left. You could set it up on the right. You could set it up at other places in the room. The, the furniture is all light enough to actually move um, and easily move. Uh, they're on commercial casters. Um, and I'm actually going to talk about a sixth thing that I love about this next cabinet. And that is price. 
Um, so this is a cabinet set that the, uh, essentially this retails for 3,600. This retails, or excuse me, yeah, 3,600. This retails for 3,800. I've been selling this set since the quilt show in natural oak. Now that natural oak color, this is the sunset gray finish, which is beautiful. And there's an upcharge to those finishes, but that natural oak finish is the same finish that this piece of furniture has. It's the same finish that our thread tower here has. Um, it's a beautiful piece of furniture, matches really well in, in just about every house that I've seen it. Um, can't even remember what I was going to say, but the uh, piece of furniture that he brought to us, I've been selling that combination for 5,800. Some of you got really smoking deals when I've had a lot of furniture delivered because I can combine uh, furniture shipping costs. Some of you have gotten those cabinets for as low as 5,600. The cabinet set that Pat brought me uh, a couple of weeks ago, Pat had called me and he said, hey, I've got an issue with a customer. It was in the center of the United States. A dealer delivered a piece of furniture uh, she had the piece of furniture for a week or two. She put her leaf out and saw some damage on the furniture. The dealer did not want to take the furniture back. So she called Pat at Unique. And uh, Pat worked out a deal with her where he said, listen, don't worry. We'll get you taken care of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you brand new furniture and I'll take your cabinets back. So Pat called me and said, listen, I haven't seen the furniture. I haven't seen what the damage is. But I've made this deal with this customer and what I don't want is to have an extra set here. And so he talked to me about it. I go, oh, Pat, let me think about it. You know, let, let me see it when it arrives. He was thinking he'd bring it to me sometime in, in November. Well, long story short, at his last delivery in October, he's like, I got that cabinet set here for you. Um, I wasn't totally prepared for it. You guys, if you guys have been in the store, you've seen how much cabinetry we have in here. We sold 10 thread towers and took a long time to get those delivered. I'd still need to deliver one or two of those. But um, long story short, that cabinet set arrived with Pat and he gave me a smoking deal. So when he got here, he goes, you should have seen it. He goes, I put up the rear leaf and right in the middle of her real rear leaf, there was a circle where the finish hadn't taken it. And he goes, quite frankly, I could have just fixed it for her right there and refinished it. But he goes, I already had a new cabinet for her and I assumed that you were going to take it. So I took it back to the shop. We, we basically stripped the and, and sanded the, uh, the rear leaf, refinished it, put it back on the furniture, made sure there were no issues with the chest of drawers and I got a smoking deal. So that cabinet set, which retails for $7,400, I'm selling for $4,200 because I don't have room for it. So like I said, it is the exact same furniture as this. Um, we will unbox it. Like if you buy it, knowing that it is a second, like I could tell you there was nothing going on with that cabinet. I'm telling you exactly what's happening with that cabinet. Um, when we deliver it, we will unbox it. We will make sure that everything is perfect, but it is a smoking deal. Basically $7,400 worth of furniture for 4,200 bucks. So if you're interested in the furniture, reach out to the store, let me know, and uh, we'll get you some of the most beautiful furniture that, that, uh, that we've had in the shop. Like at this point right now, if you come in looking for furniture, I'm selling unique because I, I really do think they are the most beautiful, the most long lasting and, and really the, the true heirloom quality sewing furniture available on the market today. Thanks so much.